I am Dr. Shilu Srinivas. I am an ENT consultant specializing in otology, cochlear implantation and sinus surgeries. I am working at Columbia Asia Hospital, Sarjapur Road. Ear drum is a natural membrane which separates our outer ear from the middle ear. Today we are going to talk about ear drum rupture. There can be various causes of eardrum rupture or what we call in our medical language perforation. Now if it is a traumatic perforation that is following an injury, we usually give it some time for natural healing. But of course you should be under the supervision of your ENT doctor. The doctor may also ask for hearing test what we call audiogram. Now if your eardrum does not heal naturally, after you have even taken care professionally by an ENT doctor as well as keeping it dry that is not allowing water in the ear while bathing so what are the methods of repairing this eardrum it depends on the size of the perforation if it is a small perforation we do a procedure called maringoplasty and there are medium or large perforations we have to do a bigger procedure called tympanoplasty so to graft a hole or a rupture or a perforation, we need a tissue from your own body. And there are various areas from where an otologist can take it. Behind the ear, we have a temporalis fascia or we can even take a piece of your own ear cartilage to close the hole in the eardrum. However, this procedure will need a surgery and admission and usually it can be done as a daycare for a smaller rupture of the eardrum whereas for medium and large ruptures the doctor may admit you in the hospital and there could be a bigger incision behind your ear and you will be discharged next day. Usually a repaired eardrum completely heals in about 6 weeks.